five, four overtime loss here. And, uh, you know, I know in the pregame show, we talked a little bit about, you don't want to be in the penalty box too much, but you kill six penalties in the game and you send the number three team in the nation to overtime. Uh, your thoughts on tonight's contest. Yeah. Guys played really, really well. Um, I think on, on the power plays, what you, I don't have a summary. So was it six for uh, six power plays for them? They were one for seven officially, including the major power play. And what were we? One for one. Yeah, that's uh, interesting numbers there. Um, very interesting numbers, as best I can say. Uh, I felt like that five-minute major that we had to kill really took a lot out of us. Um, you know, we, we ended up losing a player there. Uh, for the night. Plus, we had to, you know, we, I think we were shorthanded nine minutes in the second period, and we survived it. Um, you know, I, I guess, you know, you, you see things from different angles, but from the angle I had, I, I didn't think it was seven one penalties, you know, and then the one that was very confounding to me was the five-minute major call for slashing. As I went back and looked on video, because I didn't see any of he just kind of slapped the stick twice. I, I don't know how those two things equate. I've never, but again, you know, um, angles are different from the bench than from the ice. Um, but I, you know, I feel for the guys, they did a great job, obviously, on killing the, the one power play we had, we scored on, and they battled all night. Very proud of them. Obviously, you took advantage of your opportunities. Dryden McKay came in with a point. 0.79 .79 goals against average and he scored four goals on 10 shots I mean talk about the finishing ability of your team here tonight because that's a pretty good mark you get your opportunities and you're able to chase uh, the top save percentage goaltender in the country yeah that was good you know it was we, we, we capitalized on our, our chances and our shots and I thought realistically till we had to kill the, 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 uh, the, the penalties in the second period I felt as though uh, the game was pretty even up to that point. Then the five-minute major, and you, you know, and then the, the, the nine minutes of killing there really wiped out our team. You know, we're already short one guy, and now we overuse all the killers. You know, Cole Norris happens to be one of them. He scores in the first, and, you know, we have to overplay him the rest of the night. And, uh, you know, that doesn't leave him a lot of juice to create offense. Um, so, anyways, uh, that was kind of the tale of it, I thought, is, is then we were in survival mode, and the guys did a good job in survival mode. But, uh, you know, I saw more of our penalty kill tonight than I, I would have liked to have. Questions from the media. Brendan Sanders from the Fair State Torch. Coach, there seemed to be a different level of a physicality tonight, almost from the onslaught. We were uh, laying hits. Kind of describe the energy coming in and the defensive philosophy that we had. Yeah, I, I thought it was a very physical game. You know, it really was right from the get-go. Neither team backed off at the entire night, stayed that way the entire time. Um, and, yeah, it was it, there was no question it was a physical game. And I'm sure there's going to be ice bags uh, for both teams um, at the end of the evening. And defensively, I, I thought, I, I, particularly where, where I could read read things when we were, we were fresh, um, I thought we did a really good job through the neutral zone and our neutral zone four check. I thought we sustained some play in the first period and they're under the rink. Um, thought we were pretty clean on our breakouts and getting the puck out from our end. Uh, it wasn't until, you know, the story of the game, you, know, you got to kill nine minutes pretty much right in a row and, and then the ice tilts and the shots get away from you. But Roney played well, the, the, you know, the penalty kill played well, and, but it just, it, it, it really um, stymied our opportunity to create offense uh, from that point because, you know, we had to overuse certain guys. With, with the game as physical as tonight, how do you guys continue to carry the energy into tomorrow night's game? Well, the guys got to get the rest tonight and we'll go ahead and meet tomorrow and, you know, each game takes on its own personality and tomorrow's game will, will, will be the same, you know, it'll take on its own personality, but I would expect it to be hard fought and, and rugged again tomorrow night. I don't see, uh, I don't see that changing. And, and uh, you know, so we, we've just got to look at uh, what we can and, and talk about, there's probably a couple penalties in there that we, you know, a hook here or something, maybe a trip that we can eliminate. Um, but I, I don't, I don't see, you know, 
our, in terms of our strategy or the way we're going to approach it tomorrow, it'll be a whole lot different. There'll be some tweaks, but not a whole lot. Then, what, four of 11 shots on goal. Uh, how do we get more shots tomorrow night? Well, uh, it's hard to, to get the shots. I, I think I answered that already when I mentioned the penalties. And then, like, our shots were all within the first. We, we got probably eight or nine. So it, it was from that point on. But, shoot, when you're when you're killing the entire time, and then and the guys are, like I said, we lost one guy because of a five-minute major for the rest of the night in the first period or in the second. And, and then, you know, but we're chasing the game at that point. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I think had we – not spend as much time or, or even gotten on the power play more. That'll tilt the, the ice in our favor. And, and that gives us a little energy and we get some more shots. So you know, it comes down to the penalties, in my opinion. Well, Coach, thanks for taking the time and joining us here tonight. And uh, that'll wrap it up for the post-game press conference. We'll talk Thank to you. you.